Hey, welcome to Rust Revival Garage. My name is Tim. I just completely rewired my 1968 Pontiac Le Mans. Um, I still need to test it out, but I also had to, in the process, tear a bunch of stuff out. I had to pull back the carpet, which was kind of old and nasty, take the seats out, back seat out, and I saw a bunch of rust in the trunk. Um, so before I can sort of jump back into testing the rewiring, I thought, while well, I've got all these things taken apart, why not refresh them a little bit? So let's get to it. I got my shipment in from Inline Tube. Uh, Inline Tube is really helpful, by the way. If you've got any uh, Pontiac parts you need, they've been amazing and the prices are great. They ship out fairly fast, but uh, because I had to replace my, uh, take my back seat out, I got a new package tray and I got the um, package tray sort of like foam, the jute foam that you put up there. And then I also got the um, jute that's back behind the back seat to sort of sound deaden from between the back seat and the divider. So got that ready to go and just need to get the trunk mat. Also got picked this up from uh, inline tube. Um, what I'm gonna do to get these wrinkles out, I'm gonna actually use my heat gun. Um, not get too close to it, but um, warm it up a little bit and then hopefully it'll spread out for me. Yeah, so I'll just go along and you see it takes it right out. And then I'll just go along and clean all this up and this will be ready to go in. I took out the old trunk mat. I had the original trunk mat that was in here. I didn't realize how bad it was back here. So I'm gonna have to clean this up and paint it. Okay, I applied my Pour 15 metal prep. Let that soak for 30 minutes. Um, went and wire wheeled the entire thing. Now I just need to let it dry. And then I can apply the uh, rust reformer. Get it all cleaned and dried out. So ready for the ready for the two-in-one reform and seal. Rubberized black coating. What I'll do is put this down and then I'm gonna pick up the um, I think it's like a gray white. Or is that the alcohol white? There's a splatter paint. That you can kind of see up in here that it's mostly been rubbed off. Kind of hard to tell because it's so dark now, but I got the uh, got the whole thing covered. Um, so yeah. Like I said, I'm going to spray that spatter trunk paint uh, on here and get it back to looking like it did and then get the, I had one of those mats in here and get one of those mats back down. The other thing I need to do are the uh, drain pan covers. I need one, two, three, four of those. So yeah, it dries uh, really flat. It's like a rubberized coating, um, but it's all done. For the trunk, I'm going to use this AC Delco reconditioning paint, multicolor coating. It's black and aqua. Now, what was in here before was more of a gray and white. So, I honestly, you just can't find splatter paint anymore. Duplicolor has one, and everybody says it's terrible. So, I'm going to give this a try. It's not exactly traditional, but you know, it's what's available.
What do we think? Looks like I've got a few spots I've missed, but overall, it's kind of cool. I mean, it looks, at least from my point of view, it looks like it's a normal splatter paint paint job. But again, I'm going to see if I can hit some more of those spots. Okay, yeah, it's had a chance to dry overnight, cure up a little bit. Looking pretty good. Let's see how the mat goes in here. It does have a little perforation here for this jack bracket. So let's see. Oh, still has some relaxing to do. I'll use a uh, heat gun on there, but that's pretty neat. Couple coats of clear, and hopefully that will look nice and shiny and protected for a while. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Let's see if we can get the light out of here. Uh, the clear coat gave it a nice little shine and it's sealed in the uh, the spackle paint. So we're good to go back here. And it's time to lay out and flatten a bit. Perfect. I like it. Okay, when I was doing the taillight rewiring, I had to take the seat out. Um, so since I've got it out, I might as well get it cleaned up a little bit while I'm back there with the package tray. Okay, the back seat is still in really good shape. Um, nobody ever really sat on it much, and there's no holes. I just need to clean this thing up a bit. Um, what I'm going to do is just basically do a quick degreasing clean, and then I'm going to try my uh, ancient leather and vinyl cleaner. I like this stuff, there's not much left, but I like that stuff because it helps sort of, helps moisturize the vinyl, I guess, gives it a little bit more life back, and it keeps it from being so dry and brittle and cracking. Um, so I'm gonna get this as the, uh, the top here, then I'll do the bottom, get that nice and cleaned up, we'll see how it turns out. Here's what it looks like now. Again, not bad, just a little dirty. Uh, again, no holes, no, no tears, anything like that. See if we can improve how it looks and then we can be ready to put it back in um, when it's time. You can see it gets pretty dirty. This is actually after I've cleaned it. After I sort of cleaned and degreased it. This is just with that vinyl and leather cleaner. It's not like an armor all, it's just a cleaner, but again, it, it helps moisturize the vinyl, keeps it from being quite as dry, and yeah, kind of brings it back a little bit. The bottom is a lot worse, can't really see it, uh, maybe as well, but um, yeah, it's pretty nasty. The only problem with this, somebody at some point taped this, I think, and See how bad it is under there. Maybe it's something I can repair. Again, this is just after cleaning it twice, cleaning it once with the the vinyl cleaner, and then the second time, it's still that bad. I've sanded up on the package tray, cleaned it up. Now I need to paint that. Hard, kind of hard to see, but I've got the package tray all painted, got some things straightened up, and yeah, looks good. Just need to let that dry before I start adding the jute and the new package tray. And now it's time to add the kill mat. Okay, I got the back wall done. I'm just going to put a little bit up here. Basically what I want to do on the package tray is just try to re reduce as much vibration as I can. Um, 
so that the speakers that I have back here don't sound like crap. So just a little bit. So that's good enough for the package tray. Okay, so here's the jute for my package tray. Um, I don't think it matters which side it goes on. But let's get this up in here. Everything's so hard to do with just one hand. Up in there, all you really have to do, I believe, is just tuck it in. The only place I may have to cut it is right here. It does not fit under this little section here, and this doesn't move at all. So I think I might just trim it a little bit right there, but make sure I'm all even. And yeah, I need to trim a little bit over here too. And that's it. And then I can put the package tray up. Whatever this jute is made out of, it does not want to be cut. Brand new blade, scissors, couldn't do anything. So I just used the knife to stuff it down under there. So I guess we're good. Got an even newer razor blade and was able to cut through for my speakers. It's not pretty, but at least I have space. Okay, let's get our package tray out of the package. Uh, I was going to order this from a couple different places and almost every one of them was out of stock. Out of stock. And in line tube had it and had it to me in three days. Oh, this is pretty cool. You can kind of see it's got the space for the speakers and this little overlap that drops down in front of the seat. Let's get it up there. Oh, this seems really too big. Monstrously too big. Just a bit too big. Unless I can get it to slide down in there, but I don't think there's that much room to give. That is a lot. Okay, I trimmed off a little bit on each side. Maybe about a half an inch each side, and let's see if that works. Okay, still a pretty tight fit. I'm lifting up quite a bit right here, but it's down in there. Got to get it under the, uh, the trim panel, and it's sitting, it's got a bit of a hump. I could use, gosh, maybe half inch, quarter inch off of there, but I think I can live with it like this. And then really it's just now a matter of getting glue on here, folding this down. Might have to trim off some of this. Getting the glue on, folding it down, and probably taping it just so the glue sets, because this is a long span. But yeah, that looks great. You, can't, you almost can't even see the speaker holes. That's cool. Yeah, check it out on inline tube if you need a package tray for your GM A body. This is pretty neat. Go Dodgers. Um, and inline tube is not paying me for any of this. I bought all these things myself. I've just, I'm just been really happy with them. I reached out to a couple of different companies for the package tray. Like I said, there was one company that didn't have the package trays in until May of next year. This is October. Um, so yeah, that's, it's great that they were able to get it out in time, especially when you're making videos, you got to get these things on time. Time for the glue. I've got the uh, 3M Super 77 foam, plastic, paper, metal, all that fabric, that kind of stuff. So what I want to do is spray along the metal. Then I also want to spray the fabric. And uh, probably maybe even get a, a little bit of the foam. But you want to spray it and don't immediately try to put it on. You want to wait for it to get tacky. And that means you spray it on. If you touch it and you get it, it feels tacky, but it comes off on your finger, it's not ready. If you touch it and it feels tacky and it doesn't come off, then it's good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and shake this up and spray it. Ah. 
and I do not want to get it on my new board. Not sure how long it'll take, but let's give it a few minutes. We're feeling pretty tacky. It's been about 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and start in the Ten middle. Minutes, counting down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm using some tape. I'm not trying to pull it super tight. Just trying to hold it down. And I will worry about my edges after it's had a chance to dry and set up. I know you don't really want to tape the vinyl, but the best part is this vinyl will be below the back seat. So even if it does leave a little bit of a mark, it's not the end of the world. So yeah, like I said, um, got these corners over here that I need to cut, but I just want to make sure it's fairly smooth. All along the top. And with that, our package tray is done. Now, before we put our back seat back in, well, at least the back, the top, uh, bottom is going to go in after we get the carpet set up. But this is the jute, and there is really only one way for this to go in. Got this from Inline Tube as well. It's like 20 bucks. Um, it's cut to fit around this bracket, this bracket, and this bracket. So what we're going to do is hang it on these two little brackets here, just sort of tear into that. And again, I might put some tape on there just to hold it in place while I'm fiddling with the back seat. There's even a pre-cut hole right there for it. So this was designed to work with this. And it goes around your wheel wells. Alright, so I got the corners tucked in, uh, got my wiring loom tucked in, got the seat belts tightened up just to make sure they're all good. Okay, I figure now is a good time to go ahead and get the back seat back in. Okay, the back seat is all in, at least the top half. There are the hooks that are up here. You've got to make sure you get it on the hooks and then get it in here into these little slots. Now the only other thing is I've got two screws, one here and bolt here. And she'll be back in. Actually, there's a little flap that slides down. I didn't see it. But that's what the bolt and the washer need to go through. So yeah, the top seat is back in place. That slides in really well. Just now need to get it, the little bars that have to go across these brackets. Okay, so the seat is back in. Package tray is done. And the trunk is looking good. All right, so that's gonna do it. That's everything that I wanted to take care of. Uh, the carpet is next. Uh, that'll be the next video. I had to take all the carpet up in order to do the uh, wiring. So it's it was a great time to get the floor all treated, uh, get it uh, kill matted, and um, put the new carpet in. So that'll be in the next video. Like it if you got anything out of this video, I'd appreciate it. Uh, leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll try to have all the links in the description for everything that I used in this video. And uh, subscribe if you can. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.